Taskade is a fully loaded app that offers pretty much everything you can think of. Use it to organize your work life, your personal life or things in between. You can take notes and attach files and embed videos used for matting options to create beautiful, well-organized notes. You can jot down ideas, convert them into action points or tasks with due dates. You can see a roadmap of what your month, your week or your day looks like. So the app is called Taskade and it's absolutely free, no tricks. It's available for Windows, MacBooks, iPhones, iPads, Android phones, and even as extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Getting started is super simple. So I've got the Taskade Windows app here and I've signed in using Google. First, you create a workspace, which will let you create multiple subspaces. Think of subspaces like zones of your life. They could be work, personal, social, or they could be segregated as personal work, office work, freelance work, new ideas, house chores. It's totally up to you. Each subspace will let you have multiple projects. Your office work, and in my case, my YouTube channel. Each video for me is a project to which I can then assign a due date, multiple tags, and even assign to someone else. That is if and when I do have a team. All right, up until now, I've only shown you how you can structure your workspace, subspaces, and projects. But projects is where things get really interesting and they are super flexible. To start a new project, just tap on new project, choose blank project, or you can choose from these templates at the top. And you can also choose a background if in case you want to. So let's go with something like that. Firstly, projects have two parts to it. Project details part and the collaboration part. The collaboration tool allows team members that you invite to chat, voice call or video call without ever leaving the Taskade environment. And this is amazing if you're co-working on a project at work or at school. But now let's talk about the project details part and it can be anything you want it to be. I'll talk about the basic stuff, the building blocks first. It could be just a list of checkboxes or just bullet points or just a paragraph or a mix of checkboxes, bullet points, and paragraphs. And to make things interesting, you've got a bunch of formatting options like bold, italics, underlining, and you can highlight text using colored lines, and there are a multiple choice of colors available for that. You can convert anything inside your project as a task by simply attaching a due date. So every item in a project has a plus sign at the end. When you click on it, you'll be able to attach a due date. So you can give it a date range or a specific date and then a start and an end time. So if you give an end time, let's say 6 p.m., it will show up right here. And then you can go back to your tasks and you'll see that tech box two will be shown as a task item towards the end. And that's how you convert anything into a task. And feel free to attach hashtags or assign them to someone. And that way it becomes very easy for you to search for them. Now, there is no limit to how many hierarchies you can create. You can have an item, a sub item, a sub sub item, or a sub 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 item. Now, of course, it can get messy. So you can just collapse these items or fold them and keep things very neat and tidy and nicely organized. And you can expand them whenever you want. You can even attach files to individual items. It could be pictures or files or documents, anything. You can embed YouTube videos or Vimeo videos. You can embed actually a lot more things that you can possibly imagine. You can also link any piece of text within your project to an external web page. So this could be very helpful for referencing, for example, or just keeping track of resources. So yeah, that's there too. Now, as I said, that only items inside a project become tasks when you attach a due date, but projects can have due dates too, right? So you can assign start and end dates to your project. And that way, when you look at your roadmap, you'll get a very broad view of how messed up your life is gonna be. And lastly, if you use something too often, you can actually create a custom template and then reuse that every time you start a new project. Let me give you an example. Okay, so as I said, for me, my projects are my YouTube videos and every time I create a video project, I basically have a script to write, a list of shots that I must video shoot, edit and then, you know, upload the whole thing to YouTube. And obviously there are tasks within each of these sections. And I have to do this every time I create a video, most of the times. And instead of creating this format every time I have to do a new video, I've actually created a custom template. So if, if I go into my templates, there's something called as video shoot to go live. That's it. If you click on it, it's got that format, script, shoot, 
edit, go live. I can obviously add more things to it. Um, I can do it here or when I actually create a project out of it. So if I click on my new project drop down, I can choose that template if I'm doing a new video. And then I just rename the title to, you know, whatever new video that I'm, I'm going to be doing and it's ready. Now, one thing that you may have noticed, there's a small progress meter. So as and when I keep finishing tasks within my shoot, it keeps filling up that meter. And that way I have a pretty fair idea of how far down I am with my project and how much I'm closer to completion. And if you see, I can see that progress up on my projects list. And then if I attach a due date, I can also see that on my roadmap. So if I go to my roadmap, I'll see it's right there title of my next video under August 17th and I can see the progress of the video right there. And so every time I have a new idea for a video or I know the video that I'm going to make, I just pull up the template, rename it and create a new video project out of that. And now let me come to the fun part. Remember I said projects can be anything you want them to be and that they're super flexible. Well, let me explain that now. And for this, let's go back into the Bixby Routines video project. By the way, this video will go live soon, so stay tuned. Anyway, this view is good, but I can actually go and change the view to one of these five. And this is the board view, which I think is better suited for this kind of project. It gives me a pretty good summarized view of the entire project and not one below the other. Let's take another example. Let's go to my strategy subspace and into the video strategy project. Again, this is the list view, which is good, but let's go and switch to board, which actually seems better. And actually, if I switch this to mind map, this would look even better to me. It's, it's more structured for a strategy presentation and the background does seem a little distractful, but hey, you can change the background among so many styles. It's amazing. Now, all of this can be overwhelming to start, right? So here's what I would say. Start small and populate task A. Use it every day, use it every now and then and keep populating content. And there's no right or wrong way to do this because it's so easy to move stuff around in task A. So let's say you wanna take a couple of tasks and move it to another project, you can do that. Take a project, move it to another subspace, you can do that. You can take another subspace to a whole another workspace. So very flexible, right? So you can't go wrong. Also, if you want some support, you can actually go to the template gallery, look at the categories on the left. You can look at the multiple templates that each category has to offer. And then you can click on whatever suits your needs the most. You can preview that template before you add it to your list of templates. And once you do, you can just add that to your workspace and start using it. I mean, this is the app that you've been looking for to organize pretty much everything in your life. And I honestly feel it's not so much of a to-do app. It's more of a management or an organization app at a much higher level. And yeah, I think the fact that it's so full of features, it's super flexible and moreover, it's completely free. And you know, the, uh, the developers, the founders are so actively engaged in developing the product, optimizing it even more across platforms and across devices. And there's, if there's anything that you don't like or something that's not working for you, you can actually reach out to them and they will take care of it at some point. Anyway, that's it about Taskade, guys. If you've got any question, feel free to ask me in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.